greetings everyone uh, today I would like to talk about the album that got me into Blade Runner uh, and that album is 34.788% complete by My Dying Bride now I'm not looking at the title of the album but I guess I memorized it I hope I got that right so yeah this album I would just like to say that uh, when I discovered this album, it was when I was at first getting my uh, my very first job. So when I well, I have memories of walking to my first job, you know, around a 20 minute long walk from home to work. And I remember uh, listening to songs from this album and it was during um, March. And you know I live in the southern hemisphere, so it's extremely hot. It's summer, and I have memories of wa walking to work, melting under the hot sun, and listening to this album right here and the songs from it. So I have good memories from this album, and it's also thanks to this album that I got to watch Blade Runner. But we're gonna talk about that in a second. So let's just get straight into this review. So Blade Runner. 2049 is my favorite movie of all times and now that might it might not be anymore once I get to watch Dune part 2 is it's about to come out and if that movie comes out and if uh, Denis Villeneuve which I believe um, he will adapt the book properly and add a lot of action scenes that's the one thing that I feel is missing from the book but if he does that in his own magical way, I have high hopes that Dune Part 2 would be my favorite movie. But no, as for now, Blade Runner 2049 is my favorite movie of all time. And the only reason why I got to listen to this was because of this album. And more specifically, the very first song, which is uh, the, the... Can I say this? The Horde? The Horde? The Cook and the Mother. That's the first song. And, you know, it's a very experimental song. These whole albums are experimental. The very... Uh, the, fir the first few minutes are, you know, normal music, you could say. Then, uh, for halfway through the song, you know, half, half of the song is like this very experimental section with sound effects and this interrogation. Uh, some voice speaking in Mandarin asking this guy a lot of questions and he just answered them and filled with crazy voice effects and such and I remember when I first li got to this album you know, walking to work melting under the sun I was listening to this and I just thought to myself what the song is about like I'm so curious I want to know what the song is all about so I read on the internet and I discovered that uh, the band members were inspired by the Blade Runner interview scene to make this whole crazy part of the song. And when I read that, I was blown away, like, oh man, I really want to watch these movies now. I watched first uh, 2049, I really enjoyed it, then I came back and watched the original Blade Runner and also loved it. Those two movies are right now my top one and top two best movies of all time, 2049 is my top one. And it's all thanks to this song that a lot of my Dying Bride fans say that is absolute shit. But I don't think. So I don't think that. So let's get to the next song. The next song is The Stance of Evander Psych. Um, another experimental song and I really like this one but not as much as the first one. I think the first one is still better. After that we have the song Der Überlamba, which is in German. The Survivor. And this song sounds much more like a classical My Dying Bride song, more doom metal than the previous two songs. And I also really like the singing and the vocals in this. After that we have some very different songs, you know, normally My Dying Bride talks about uh, religion. At least from now that I remember they normally talk about mortality, religion, gothic themes. Uh, gothic romances or whatever things of those sorts but then we have this song herring chick another very experimental song and as i said this uh, this whole album is very overall experimental very post metal very avant-garde 
you know, a bit electronic, you know, that would fall into the post-metal category. And this is the most different album from the band. All of, the, all of their other albums are doom metal, death doom, and just around those two genres. But this one is much more different. And this song right here, there's this and there's another song that you, you would never imagine that My Dying Bride would make such a song about these themes. No, Erin Chick. You probably understand what the songs are about, so... Yeah, very different from what they normally did. After that, we have the song Apocalypse Woman. And I find the most normal song in this album up to this point. But I still like the percussions and the background sound effects. Really add texture to the whole work. After that, we have the other song that you wouldn't expect for a band like My Dying Bright to, to make. It's called Bass Level Erotica. The vocals are very different, and the lyrics talk a lot about sex and such disgusting things. Um, so it's a quite different song. As I said, this whole album is very different. And other than this, you know, the most... <laughs> I don't really like to listen to songs about these themes, you know? I feel like this is the, clo is the most disgusting thing beside uh, Doja Cat that I've listened <laughs> this year. So, yeah. After that, we have the last two songs, which, honestly, if they were not included in the album, would have made no difference for me, because I just think they're forgettable songs. Under Your Wings and Into Your Arms. And the first song, I, as I said, I find it quite generic. And after that, we have Follower. I just don't find it that interesting. So, overall... The album started really well, the first song is my favorite one, but I find that it only goes downhill, and I just prefer to listen to the first half of the album, and normally it always steps out on the second one. And also this is, um, as I said, a very experimental, very different album from this band, and you can see why most of the die-hard fans would absolutely hate this album. Myself, when I first got into this band, this was the very first album I listened to then. Now I have no idea how I got into this album, but I got into it. And when I first got into the band, I really liked this album. It was one of my favorite ones. But when I searched the band on the internet, and when I watched other people's uh, rankings of their discography, I discovered that this is the most hated album from the band and I was really surprised because it, we loved it. It's a great release But it's understandable. It's very different uh, release from theirs. So Yeah, that's my review of 34 or is it 37? I think it's 34.788 percent complete uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave in the comments your opinions on this album Tell me how much this album sucks and how Blade Runner is not the best movie of all times I'm gonna read the comments and answer whenever it's possible, alright? So, until the next video, I hope you enjoyed this.